Am I the asshole for not wanting my fiance to get a coworker as a stripper for her bachelorette party? I got the burps right now. Uh, so I should start off by saying that I completely understand that my fiance's bachelorette party has nothing to do with me. Well, that sounds like we're not going to go down that road. Uh, I shouldn't have any say in it, and I really shouldn't know anything about what goes on. Her bachelorette party, though, is in a week, and her sister has been planning it. I've heard them mention things before about the party, and she's really excited. But yesterday, her and her sister were talking while I was in the front room, and I overheard them talking about how her sister is hiring one of my fiance's coworkers to be the stripper. I've been at a couple of events where he's been, and after she's had a few drinks, she gets really flirtatious with this guy in front of me. Other people have even mentioned it to me, including her sister. She will start to play fight with him and stand outside with him for hours while he smokes, even though she doesn't. I brought it up to her, and she's told me that she's not flirting. She's just being friendly because he's the easiest one to talk to. It bothers me because there's a certain level of professionalism with professional strippers. They come in, they do their job, they pack up, and they go to the next one, and you don't see them again. But if she gets a coworker for a stripper, she's going to have to see them every day of the week. I'm going to have to see them at barbecues because they have mutual work friends. I know that I have a lot of insecurities, but it would really make me uncomfortable if I had to go to a barbecue with this guy that was dancing on my wife naked and who knows, uh, and, and who knows what a month ago. Uh, it would really just embarrass me. I brought it up to my girlfriend and I said to her, why wouldn't you just uh, want professional hunk strippers that know what they're doing rather than some coworker? She said that her sister wanted him and she's planning the party and he's a kid, 22. My wife is 25. I told her that it would make me uncomfortable to be around him and she's going to have to see this guy at work from now on. She told me it's just fun and I have nothing to worry about. Am I the asshole? I feel like this is uh, like a Ken Jack post. Or he makes like all those jokes, like a Nick post where they make all the jokes about their, their girlfriend blatantly cheating on them. I mean, this is some big time cuck shit that you're even asking this fucking question, no? I, yes, obviously. But the more obvious question, where does she work? Yeah, like, yeah. Where yeah, just, are you let working? Me, let me go in the comments here and see if there's any uh, further. Because like we need to know a lot more about who, what, when, where, why. Um, Where are you working that, like, it's just completely normal to ask your coworker if they want to strip for you? But, like, <laughs> people think we work in a fucking frat house. Guess what? I can't ask any of our fucking coworkers if they want to strip at my bachelor party. <laughs> Maybe the guy. But the girls. Uh, I, I feel like to even to, for a 20, it's a 22 year old dude. This is so wildly like ah, crazy and appropriate that like the girls thinking that this is like okay on any level is nuts. Where do you think that they would – you think they're just like working in an office and he's just like a jacked 22-year-old college boy and like – I guess like she has to be a bartender and, and he works – he's also a bartender or something like that. that, that, that makes that's the only thing that could be a, a, a possible reasonable explanation, explanation for like I knowingly and out to my coworkers strip on the side. <laughs> there, there's no world you can't be fucking strutting into Deloitte and they're like hey Ricky I was swinging that dick this weekend it's just, it's just not accepted <laughs> you imagine, like, like some dude's leaving Deloitte and he's like alright like time to go to my like my night job and he's got the big teddy bear head under his arm like <laughs> alright time to go uh, this dude even even this, guy, to- this guy's probably fucking thrilled though if you're a male stripper, when you get a call for a bachelorette party, that's got to be great. Because I'm gonna, I'm willing to bet you, male stripping, mostly stripping from males. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I think this, that when- like, like this is this gets posted on the locker room at the at the old boys strip club. They're like, dude, he got a chick's bachelorette party this weekend. That's the fucking holy grail. I was gonna say the holy fucking jackpot. And I would also go to say that. Uh, well, maybe this is this is like ruined in my mind by porn. But I'm like, I'm pretty sure you're coming on like all those girls. I don't think it's just like in my mind they're not just like let's dance. I feel like you're gonna fuck all them because I feel like that. Stripper, that does it, I feel like dude strippers don't go dick out. I feel like they well, go on those little fucking hammocks. Yeah, they wear the banana hammocks. But I also feel like if you're really 
like these these girls partying, uh, planning this party. I feel like it's also going to include like a trip to the back room before you're before you're done. I don't know if it's just like we're going to dance the Madonna. I think it's like and then and then you're going to fuck me. <laughs> what she should do, she should claim that it's the sister-in-law. Like, oh, my sister-in-law has a crush on him. She wants him there. It has nothing to do with me. This but is it's, so it's too obvious. It's too obvious. You fucked it up. But so by funny. once you start play fighting, you might as well have sex. If you're if you're an adult yeah. who play fights oh. with someone, dude, this is a uh, this is like very uh, yeah. This is Jim and Pam in the office when he picks her up and yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, she's like, stop it, because that's one step away from having sex. That's I, that I play fighting more intimate than having sex. Yeah, I think you can make that argument. I think, yeah, it's very, like, uh, summer camp-esque. Like, you know what I did one time in summer camp? This is the most sexual fucking thing I've ever done. There was this girl named Anna. Rocket. Exotic girl. Fat ass. We are in, like, eighth grade. And we were uh, play fighting with ping pong paddles. Slapping each other on the ass. That's sexual. <laughs> I literally fights running around the ping pong table like trying to catch each other and i'm whacking her on the ass in the middle of fucking summer camp right. i was like that's crazy. i'm i'm putting that one i just i'm putting that on my body count. i'm adding to the list that was sex that's how intimate that is anna left the room for a second kevin took it took it too far tied himself to the ping pong table with jump ropes she came back in was like what is happening in here? are you ready let's go <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry. This, guy, put on this guy, uh, I think worse than the than the uh, the idea for the strip, the party is like we would go to a work event and she would stand outside with him for hours while you're just standing inside like a chump. I mean, come no. on, dude. This is this relationship. It's almost like there's been a verbal prenup that if she cheats, it's OK. Like he can't. Yeah. This guy's not allowed to get she's she's told you explicitly. I'm going to have sex with this guy and probably some others. And if, if it, it, you've just agreed to it, it's just a verbal contract. You're in now. I think that they could go to a court of law in like the divorce trial. And I think they could play the, uh, well, what did you expect defense? I think that would stand up in the court of law. Like, like your honor, what, what did he expect? And they'd be like, case closed. You're right. I mean, what the fuck else did you expect? So uh, yeah, this guy, this girl is, an absolute asshole, but this dude's the asshole for letting any of this carry on and even considering allowing this, like if even just putting up this Reddit post, you're an asshole too.